Welcome. In a previous video I went over the procedure to set up a Raspberry Pi 4 to boot off a USB flash drive. And I'll put a link in the description of that video. So in this video I did essentially the same thing, but I used a USB 3.0 enclosure. So I used a Sabrent 2.5 inch enclosure. And I put an SSD in it. I put a Crucial BX300 I think it is in it. But if I were buying this from scratch I'd probably put a Samsung in it. And this uses 3.0. It's bus powered. So I'll put a link to the hardware I'm using in the description, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I'll minimize this. I'm in a terminal here, and I'm gonna run the same benchmarks I did before. So I used that exclamation point eight and exclamation point nine uh, because it was in my history. It was the ninth, eighth and ninth items in my history, so I went out to type it in again. But you see here the write speed is 206 megabytes per second and the read speed is 240 megabytes per second. So if you remember on the USB flash drive, the thumb drive from the other video, I got 50 megabytes per second write and I got 185 megabytes per second read. So this is four times faster writes and quite a bit faster reads also. So if you're trying to determine what you want to use with your Raspberry Pi, if you don't want to use the SD card for your storage, the USB thumb drive was nice because it's convenient. You can plug it in. If you want to stick this to the back of a TV, it fits nicely. Uh, the enclosure, you know, you could put that on the back of a TV, but you'd probably have to like Velcro it on. It'd be kind of complicated. So the SSD is probably easier if you have more of a permanent desktop situation with Raspberry Pi and you need the fast uh, disk speed from an SSD. But I, I think they both have use cases. So if you're watching this video and you have a use case, uh, put it in the description. I'm interested to see what people are doing with this. But like I said, I'll put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using. I'll put a link in the description to the previous video. You can check those out. And I'll also put a link to my Raspberry Pi playlist. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.